so this is part two and i'm going to make this video um short so with me i have a unconventional way of doing things and an unconventional way of speaking you know and i didn't mean to say that mercury rules the throat chakra saturn rules the throat chakra and early i was looking back and i was like you know what back in 2020 saturn was in aquarius and that is when I found out that I, I had the hypothyroidism. So that was another like aha moment. And I find myself struggling because I do talk fast and I have Mercury in Leo and I feel like that is a reason why I talk fast with me having, you know, Mercury in Leo. So a few months ago, I was like thinking to myself, I was like, do I have ADHD because, or like a form of ADHD because I find myself, it's like my mouth move faster than my brain. It's like, I... I really can't explain it, and I, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying, but it's like my brain want to say one thing, and then it's like my mouth say another type shit. Like, I don't know what's that, I don't know what that's called, but I, I really do hope you guys understand what, you know, I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but back to like you know wanting to get to know you know new people and not feel as though because i always like i said i always felt like i did not fit in this world i i just always you know felt that i was always different you know always different and again with meeting new people I always feel like it's a fucking interview. Like, people are trying to, like, find out information about me. Like, I remember me meeting these two women. It was at, like, different times. But to make a long story short, they were not genuine. They were only trying to get close to me, trying to figure out my life and, like, you know, what I had going on. And I find that a lot of people make assumptions about me. You know, I've heard it before where people thought that I was mean due to my face expression. Like, I do have a serious, you know, look. So people, you know, make assumptions that I'm this type of person or I think I'm this, I think I'm, you know, all that type of shit. Like, I didn't heard these things before, and it's just, like, it, it's so fucked up because a person don't even get to know you before, you know, judging you. You know what I mean? Like, they, they don't. And it, it just really, it, it, it's fucked up. And, again, it kind of make me not want to you know meet new people just off the strength of me being the person being this person where I can pick up on people's energy I can sense a negative person I can sense when a person don't like me like off the break like I can sense that you know so and then dealing with too um, I find that a lot of older people that I come across you know, they don't like me or, you know, people wanting to be, you know, in competition. Like, it's never a genuine thing. It's never a genuine, like, connection. It's never a genuine interaction. Like, and that shit just blows me. You know, it, it really blows me because, you know, 
it gets to a point like damn i'm really all alone in this world you know and and two with having people that don't understand you you know that you know don't understand you and it's just it's <laughs> you guys it gets so like crazy you know but again like I don't trip off that too much because like I said, I am a loner, but I want to be able to, you know, get out more. And like I said, meet new people. Like it got to a point last year, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start, you know, going out by myself because last year um, I ended the two um, friendships that I had. I ended those friendships and I'm just like, you know what? I wanna get out, meet new people. So that's something i have been doing i have been getting out you know um you know getting out more because that's something that i want to do but again it's like it'd be crazy like could trying to connect with you know people and my home is like my safe haven like i don't want to feel like i always have to like be home or hide out in my home because at some point i felt myself you know doing that you know especially this year last year up until this year i felt like i i wanted to hide away hide away from the world like i wanted to isolate myself and i did isolate myself from the world and it's just like i don't want to do that you know what i mean like i don't want to do that and i know that i'm different you know, I know that I am who I am. And like, to, to be honest, like, I don't give a fuck. You know, I don't give a fuck what people think about me. At some point I did, you know? So, you know, as I got older, it's just like, I don't care what people think about me. People are going to judge you. You know what I mean? People are going to think what they're going to think about you. And it is what it is. Like, if you stress about that, like, you know, if you worry about that so much, like, that shit will take a toll on you. It will really stress you the fuck out. So, I I just don't care what, you know, people think about me. You know what I mean? Because as a kid, I had, I, I, I cared about that so much about my parents. It started from my parents, you know? So, it's just like, I'm at a point, like, I don't give a fuck. And I feel like my relationship with my parents is so fucked up because I rebelled so much I rebelled so much against who they wanted me to be or who they thought I was going to be. You know what I mean? So I'm quite sure, you know, Ben's though once I got in my teens, probably from like middle school, um I, I used to fight a lot, you know what I mean? I used to fight a lot and I, I I didn't have to fight, you know what I mean? I felt like I had to fight, um, you know, just to, you know, prove myself type shit, you know? So, um, yeah, I, I feel like I, I had to fight to, you know, prove myself and that was something that I really didn't, you know, have, I didn't have to do, you know, but I feel like I had to, set the tone for things especially with me you know getting into middle school going to high school i had to you know set the tone like look i ain't no bitch you know what i mean like i was a fighter you know so but again like i rebelled a lot against what and i i, I still find myself doing that you know with society and that could be possibly why you know people you know don't like me or are afraid to connect with me afraid to get to know me due to the things that i'm into you know what i mean because you know they're not into what i'm into they they don't understand what you know i'm into and it's not for anyone to understand you know what i mean again i am who i am and that's what it is and that's what it's going to be you know what i mean so um yeah i i, I think i touched bases on a lot of things that i you know wanted to um talk about but i i do want to start showing my face on you know this platform i don't want to feel you know like i'm gonna you know fuck up especially with me talking fast you know what i mean i can stumble my words so um and also another thing i remember 
as a kid when I would talk, I would kind of like stutter or it was like a hard time for me to get my words out, like express what I wanted to say. I remember I used to always be like, um, 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 you know, and once I started this channel, I was like, that's something I really have to work on. Like, I don't want to say, um, you know what I mean? And sometimes it may come out, but I'm just like, that's something that I have to work on with saying, um, because my father used to like hate the fact that I would say, um, he's always like, get it the fuck out. Like, get it out. Like he, like I, like I said, my father used to yell a lot, you know what I mean? And it really took a toll on me. It, it really fucked me up. But um, I'm like, yeah, that's something I don't want, you know, to do. That's something I want to, you know, work on. So, and that's something I have been working on. That's why I put out that message that I put out, um, you know, me just showing gratitude to you guys. Cause I truly, truly appreciate you guys. Doesn't, you guys do not know how hard it was for me to start this channel. Like it was hard, like seriously, um, for me. So that's why I said gratitude, gratitude, because you guys really encouraged me, especially with all the love and support, the comments, like that really inspired me to continue to push forward and not give up on this channel because I've been had this YouTube channel, but I, like, I stopped, I think I put out a few messages and then I, you know, I stopped, you know, I stopped putting out you know, message. So at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I'm growing, you know, you guys are growing with me, growing with my channel. So I just want to be more, you know, open about, you know, me, my life. And, you know, hopefully you got, you know, we all can just, you know, interact with each other. I start to go on live and I, I did say that I want to start doing like, um, nail tutorials. Cause you guys know, I, I do my own nails. So that's something that I want to do. I think I might start a new channel for that. But I want to be more um, more active and more interactive, you know, with you guys. Because like I said, I truly appreciate, I truly appreciate you guys, you know. So I can't stress that, stress that enough. But I am truly, um, I'm, I'm truly thankful and I'm, I'm truly blessed, you know. I don't, like I said, I forgave, you know, my parents. I forgave people for doing, you know, fucked up, you know, shit to me. I'm the type of person, like, I don't, I don't hold grudges, so it's easy for me to get over, you know, get over things, you know. It would always stick with me, you know, but, um... I, I, I forgive, you know, I forgive. I don't, I don't hold on two things like I would never forget what happened to me but I I forgive you know what I mean and that's just what type of person you know I am like I don't I don't hold grudges and and things like that with people and you know the shit that people you know do to me I just you know learn from it and it's all a lesson everything here is a lesson and you know I blame my parents but I also look back at it like, you know, um, I am someone that's totally different from who they, they wanted me to be. And I'm glad that I am. I'm glad that I am able, I'm, I'm older enough. You know, once I, once I turned 17 and I moved out, it was just like, it was on from there. Like I'm able to be who I want to be, who I always wanted to be. So it's just like, I don't have to shy away from that anymore. You know, I don't have to shy away from, you know, who who I wanted to be because I am who I wanted to be, who I always wanted to be. So I think I wanted to say something else, but I didn't have a brain fart. So yeah, it's just like, hopefully I'm able or hopefully, you know, I will meet new people and I feel that I will, you know what I mean? I feel that I will and I, I'm just hoping that the connections are genuine connections, you know? I, I just really hope that there are genuine connections and I'm gonna go ahead and end this message. Thank you guys.